Everyone has secrets. If not their own, then someone else's. What are you? How did you end up like this? Are you gonna kill me? People actually ask you that. It comes up. Knowing what was done to you might help you. What if facing it makes me worse? I've already killed someone. If you say with great power comes great responsibility, I swear I'll throw up on you. Go later in the day, later in the day. Your impressions are very funny. With great power comes great Spider-Man references. So what a surprise that right after doing a Spider-Man trailer, Marvel drops another trailer with a notable Spider-Man reference, the absolute biggest Spider-Man reference you could probably make. So let's break this down. And if you are finding me for the first time, be sure to subscribe to get everything. There's gonna be a whole bunch of Marvel happening between this, Black Panther, all the Spider-Man stuff that just dropped earlier today. So there's another new giveaway at the end of the video. But just to start with the biggest stuff that's not in this trailer, you've probably seen the set photos of David Tennant with her shooting scenes, meaning that we're going to see Kilgrave come back, albeit as Mindspace Kilgrave, because he's still dead. It's not like he's been resurrected. It's just that her trauma is manifesting itself as a hallucination, so it's him speaking to her and her just reliving a lot of that. But then they also find creative ways to weave that into her real life when she's walking around as she's investigating this office here. She rips the cover off of this painting and it's a picture of her done in the art style of the classic comic book. So I think the implication here is that she'll be seeing some of the aftermath of Kilgrave. This is probably something that he had made like he was obsessed with her. He made all those photo collages. So he probably commissioned a bunch of paintings and she's just finding some of that stuff now. So just prepare for her to be triggered. But then there's a lot of funny scenes of her throwing people around in bars, just being classic Jessica Jones. Obviously this is all happening after Defenders, so she's gotten a little bit better. But it's not like all those experiences completely fixed her. She's still living with the daily trauma of everything she went through with Kilgrave. So the actual antagonist of season two is supposed to be a group of people that is tied to the place that gave both of them powers, Kilgrave and Jessica Jones. So remember the lab that gave them experiments? We started to learn a little bit about them during season one, but they just sort of left that as a hanging plot thread. That continues on. You see her looking at those medical reports. Then Patsy Walker, Hellcat, is talking to her like, hey, maybe revisiting some of the things that happened to you will help you deal with this new problem that you have. So it sounds like the new problem is tied to the place that gave her powers. So that'll be a bit of a change. They did say that they were going a little off comic book. So don't expect any specific comic book storyline. But obviously all the season one characters that survive season one will come back. So you have Malcolm, you have Patsy Walker. I don't know if Will's supposed to come back. And I don't know if we'll get to see Hellcat in a comic book costume. Jessica Jones as a series doesn't trade on a lot of that classic comic booky look. Just because Jessica Jones herself laughs in the face of that. Like when she met Iron Fist... All she did was make fun of him. That was one of the best parts of Defenders is like him going off on some tangent and her just rolling her eyes like, yeah, whatever, dude, you're full of shit. But the really funny thing you may have noticed, if you think this guy looks familiar, this is actually Wildcat from Arrow, J.R. Ramirez. He's not playing a comic book character. He's just called Oscar. It looks like he gets swept up in one of the investigations that she's working on and they have chemistry. So in the way she got really drunk and started hooking up with Luke Cage, it seems like that will also happen with this character here. Because if you're wondering about the Jessica Jones, Luke Cage relationship, the whole thing with that is that he's with Claire Temple right now. And in Luke Cage season three, maybe they'll get rid of that. Maybe they'll turn that into a bigger thing, but they're kind of doing heroes for hire during Luke Cage season two. And that's not coming till later in the year. This is premiering Thursday, March 8th, which is actually a day earlier than it normally would. Usually Netflix series drop on Fridays, but I think the 8th is like National Woman's Day or something like that. So it just makes sense that they would bump Jessica Jones by a single day just to sync it up with that just for extra fun. 
Just to sort of fill in the gaps in the timeline, too, if you're wondering what she was doing between Jessica Jones season one, Defenders, and then what she's been doing since the end of Defenders, it's just normal investigations. Like at the beginning of Defenders, it was implied that she had slowly started to take cases again. She hadn't quite come back around. Malcolm was still buzzing around her apartment, fixing things. Then by the end of that series, it seemed like she had come around and she was finally taking cases again. But she's still had all that stuff since killing Kilgrave brewing in her head that she hasn't dealt with. So like you see her get arrested here. She makes reference to already having killed someone. She's talking about Kilgrave when she says that. A lot of you are asking how they're going to tie this stuff in with Infinity War because none of the Defenders characters are going to be in either of the Avengers movies. So it's just a big question as to how they're going to address that. And they really tried to downplay the Avengers presence in New York during the Defenders series. Like I think they even omitted the actual Avengers Tower. People were asking questions about that earlier this year. So for the most part, it does seem like Marvel's television operation has completely divorced itself from the movie operation. The good thing about Jessica Jones season two is that all these things that you're seeing here are happening way before Infinity War starts. So they don't have to worry about it that much during this. It'll be harder to address when we get to Daredevil season three at the end of next year. But with exception to offhanded Spider-Man references, I'm just not expecting a whole lot of Avengers stuff to be happening during Jessica Jones season two. So we can talk about that again when we actually start getting episodes because there will be a lot of Easter eggs, but not actual Avengers stuff. The schedule right now is that they're doing Heroes for Hire right after this. They're dropping it. They've already shot that season. And then they're currently shooting Daredevil season three right now, meaning they'll probably have it ready to go in air episodes by the end of next year. But if you want to start getting ready for stuff, start reading Daredevil Born Again, because that's the basis for Daredevil season three. And then obviously we have all the Infinity War and Black Panther stuff that'll be coming up really soon. You'll start seeing a whole bunch of Black Panther footage really, really soon, in addition to all the Star Wars stuff that's dropping. So just a heads up, I'm supposed to see Star Wars tonight with all the other critics. I'm allowed to post my non-spoilery review Tuesday morning. So just a heads up for when that's going to be coming. But there'll be a lot of other Star Wars videos posting next week too. So just leave all your requests in the comments below and I'll just announce the giveaway winner when I post my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. video later tonight. I'll try to slip that out after I get back from Star Wars. Click here to rewatch that Spider-Man trailer and click here to rewatch the Infinity War trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.